you are feeling stuck and unmotivated in your career right now, I get it. I've been there. Going to a job you dread and feeling like you are wasting away hours of your life working for a boss who doesn't appreciate anything you do. Well, today I have some ideas for you to help you get out of bed and keep moving forward. You never know one simple suggestion that you hear today could change everything for your career opportunities in the coming months. So let's dive in. Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. My name is Anna Runyon, former corporate consultant turned entrepreneur, and each week I bring you an inspiring lesson to help you find career fulfillment, work-life balance, and happiness so you are ready for the incredible impact that you can make on this world. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's begin today's class with Classy Career Girl. Okay, I admit it, I will tell you a secret just between you and I. I stayed in a job I hated for many, many years because I had a good salary, I had health benefits, I had a mortgage, and I had a lot of other bills to pay. But I dreaded walking into the doors of the office to a job that didn't fit who I really was. So I share a lot on my blog and my podcast about how to find a job you love, and I hope that you have found that very helpful. But for most of you, there's an amount of time where you have to stay in a job you might hate until you can find that dream job. So I don't want to ignore you and pretend like it's fun to do this because it's definitely not. So while you plan your exit route, here are some tips to stay motivated if you hate your job right now. The first thing is to find the root of the problem. What's keeping you from feeling positive at work? Find where the problems lie and start forming possible solutions. Just because you hate your job doesn't mean you have to throw in your towel right away. You may be able to resolve the root of the problem so your time at work can be a little bit more bearable. When I realized that I disliked the financial tasks that I was doing in my job, but I loved the training and teaching and mentoring tasks that I was doing, I tried to spend as much of my time as possible doing what I enjoyed. So you might be able to find temporary solutions as well to make your work more enjoyable for the time being. The second thing is to assess yourself. Know why you're sticking around if you hate your job. So ask yourself, do you really hate your job or do you just need to make some changes and some new goals? Maybe will a one-on-one coaching session with a mentor or your manager help you re-engage with your position? If leaving is not an option, then ask yourself why exactly you've got to tough it out. Is it because of your pay grade or is it a necessary step in your career? Step back and see if you really have the right personality to succeed in this job. And if this isn't the right career for you, then what is it? So assessing yourself is really important in assessing the position, figuring out what are those tasks that you really, really, really do not like, And then focusing a lot of what we teach on Classy Career Girl about if this isn't the right career, what is? The third, then, it comes to planning your future. So if you hate what you're doing right now, the prospect of sticking with it for the next five to ten years can be a daunting and overwhelming scene. So I encourage you to know that you really want to go for it in the future. So I want you to really think about what you want in the future instead. Think about where you're going and what you need to do to succeed in the future. I know when I was planning to quit, I was always thinking about my vision for the future and that like pulled me through. So if you can get a clear vision of where you want to be in one, two, or even five years from now, your temporary job will become more bearable. I know it's hard to think about this, but I truly believe this because this is what happened to me. Having something to look forward to can make a huge difference. When I was plotting my exit route, I had a notebook that I would repeatedly look at reminding me of my goals and my future vision. I would look at my vision journal a few times a a day, even in my cubicle, just to make sure I didn't forget about what I really wanted my future to look like. And the best part is my career vision came true and so can yours. So the fourth tip I have for you is to try to leave your misery at work. Do not bring your on-the-job negativity home with you. I know this is really, really hard and challenging. If you have a family, I know I was always coming to home to my husband crying. This was even before I had kids. I was just so stressed about work. If you have kids, it's also important to leave your misery behind because our children don't need to know that our job equals unhappiness, right? 
So try to balance your work and your life and leave your negative work mindset in the office. And when you come home, it's a new place and you can start thinking about that future career vision and where you're headed and where you're going. My fifth tip for you is to be better at your job. I bet you didn't think I was going to say this one. Just because you hate your job doesn't mean you can't keep improving. When your job sucks, you might feel that you, like you suck too. But keep in mind that you are not your job. Don't let yourself be a byproduct of a miserable job. Stop self-pitting and find ways to improve yourself professionally because that's what's going to be on your resume, right? Your accomplishments. So you can begin by attending networking events and conferences within your industry to stay up on the latest trends. You can develop new skills. You can expand your resume by taking online courses and participating in your company's professional development offers if they offer that. This will make you feel more fulfilled and your boss will notice your new skills and put them to use in a better job possibly as well. So give your boss a reason to appreciate and promote you and maybe find a better career fit for you because that could be just around the corner. The sixth tip I have for you is to try and bond with your colleagues. Take some time to get to know your coworkers even better. Even if your job sucks, at least you will be enjoying being with your team and being with the people around you. This will help you increase your on-the-job engagement. You will appreciate your position more and the company as a whole, if you truly like those who you work with, you'll appreciate your job even more. Number seven, manage your bad days. Everyone has frustrating moments at work, but one small problem or event doesn't have to ruin your entire day. So try and take a step back and assess the situation before you jump to conclusions. Maybe take a walk outside, I did this all the time, or call up a friend during your break that makes you laugh. Give yourself a moment to think about how lucky you are to have a job that pays your bills and to remember your future vision that you are working towards. Remember, work isn't everything. And my last tip for you is to really know and enjoy your passion. Waking up knowing you are wasting another beautiful day at a job you hate is an awful feeling. I've been there. You must take time in your day for what you're passionate about. Is it art? Is it music? Is it yoga? Is it helping others? Know what really makes you happy and schedule it into your calendar. I always woke up an hour before I had to go to my job and I focused on my goals. I focused on reading books that really inspired me and I focused on my own passions, which at that time was blogging. So trust me, this is the only way you're going to stay sane until you find your dream job. You have to focus still on yourself and your passions and add that into your calendar. When I was on the job hunt while working in a job I hated, I spent every spare minute working on my blog because I loved it so much. Hours would fly by and I wouldn't even notice because it wasn't work to me. So try to spend at least an hour each week doing something you love and it will help keep you motivated. I hope you enjoyed these ideas for you to stay motivated when you hate your job. Just keep going. Don't give up. You will find that dream job and just pick one of these things I mentioned today and try and use it to stay motivated. Thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. I want to let you know about how you can get are two proven resume templates that you'll want to download now if you are job searching. So this is for you if you've ever been frustrated trying to get all those bullets lined up on your resume, we're gonna let you use our free resume templates. You can go download them at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash resume templates. Now I've had a lot of great feedback about these templates. A lot of people have gotten calls back like within a day. One person messaged me and said that they got a call back like within an hour of using this resume template for their job search. So let me know how it works for you. I'd love to hear from you on Instagram at Classy Career Girl or send me a Facebook message at any time. We're at www.facebook.com forward slash the Classy Career Girl. So have fun using these templates.